In this video, I'm going to explain how to evaluate a definite integral using the limit definition of definite integrals. So let's consider this example. And the first step is to calculate delta x. So delta x, which is the width of our rectangles, is 6, the upper boundary, minus 1, the lower boundary, divided by n. So we have 5 over n. The next step is to calculate xk. And xk is the position of rectangle number k. So it's equal to 1, the lower boundary, plus k times delta x, which is 5 over n. The next step is to evaluate f of xk, which is. So f of xk gives us the y values of the rectangles, or the heights of the rectangles. And to get this, we simply plug xk into our function. Therefore, we have. So wherever I see an x in this function, I replace it with the expression for xk. So here I have x squared. So inside the parentheses, you will find the expression for xk to the power 2 minus 5 times the expression for xk. The next step is to expand this expression and then simplify. So when I raise this expression to the power 2, I have 1 plus 2 times 1 times k 5 over n. This gives 10k over n plus 25k squared over n squared. Now minus, and I simply distribute the 5 inside, so I have 5 minus 25k over n. And this expression simplifies to the following. And I put the terms in order, so the first term has the highest power, the second term the second highest power, and the third term the third highest power. The next step is to find f of xk times delta x. And this gives us um, the area for rectangle number k. And this equals the following expression. And the expression that we just found gives us the area for rectangle number k. The next step is to add up the areas for um, rectangles beginning at 1 and going to n. So now this expression gives us the sum of the areas of the rectangles for the rectangle um, when k is equal to 1, going all the way to the rectangle when k is equal to n. And the next step is to um, simplify this expression. So for the first term here, the 125 and the n cube come out front, so we're left with this. And in the second term, the minus 75 and the n squared also come out front, therefore we have. And now in the third term, the minus 20 over n comes out front, therefore we're left with the following. And this whole expression simplifies to the following. So this result here comes from what we already know about this expression. And the same is, can be said for this expression here. This comes from what we know about um, sigma k is equal to 1 to n of k. And for here, also, this is equal to n. The next step is to simplify this expression to be able to simply evaluate the infinite limit. So what I've done here is I've simply taken my n cubed and brought it into this expression. So n cubed is n times n times n, and what I've done is brought an n under this first term, and then an n under this term, and also another n under this term. So I'm left with n over n, and then here what I've done is I've taken the common denominator n and written it under each term. So I've got n over n plus 1 over n. And here again, the common denominator n is written under each term. So I've got 2n over n plus 1 over n. And I've done a similar thing here. I've taken the n squared and brought it under this expression. So I've got n over n. And then the n plus 1 over n, where the common denominator is written under each term. 
and all that I'm left with here now is 20 because the n's cancel out, so minus 20. And in the next step, I'm just going to simplify this, this expression a little bit further. And now our last step is to take the limit as n approaches infinity for this expression. And what this does is it makes the number of rectangles approach infinity, and therefore the area that we obtain is the exact area under the curve. And now when I evaluate the infinite limit, I get the following. So in this term, when n goes to infinity, well, this term goes to 0. Same for this term. And same for this term. Therefore, I'm left with the following. Sorry. And this here simplifies to the following. And now we have our area, which is minus 95 over 6, which concludes this presentation.